part 10, last sacrifice. How to calculate time from chart number 14. If you can. There are many verses which specify time in hours. This topic is to find time in hours when it is not stated in Bible. Daniel 9.21 While I was praying, Gabriel, whom I had seen in the earlier vision, came flying down to where I was. It was the time for the evening sacrifice to be offered. Bible is telling to read us to find our of last evening sacrifice of animals performed by first Jesus, Hindus. What is exact hour? Daniel 12, 9 to 10, and he said, Go your way, Daniel, for the woods are shut up and sealed until the time of the end. Many will be purified, cleansed, and refined, but the wicked will act wickedly, and none of the wicked will understand, but those who have insight will understand. Time of end, 14,000 years. 500 CE. The wicked, Roman Catholics and Christians, will continue to eat people. Daniel 12, 11. There will be a thousand two hundred and ninety days. Twelve hundred and ninety days. Twelve hundred and nine equals to twelve thousand nine hundred years sacrificed abolished. On chart approximately twenty two hours ten PM. Daniel twelve twelve. Blessed is he who waits and reach and reaches the 1,335 days. End of time, 14,000 years. 1,335 days equal to 13,350 day, 50 years. Verse confirms last sacrifice was appro at approximately 22 hours. That's here. 10 p.m. at between 12,900 years to 2 13,350 years. Conclusion. No. Ram's first journey, 14,000 years. This is the first journey here. To 14,000 years. From chart number 13, that's this chart, we see Ram's first journey of 14,000 years was completed in four parts. These are the four parts here. One, Ram's history of 2,000 years entered Mahabharat. That's first exile. Ram's history of two, Ram's history of 12,000 years entered Ramayana. Three, Ram's history of 13,000 years enters Bhagavad Gita. Ra four, Ram's history of 13,500 years entered Bible. This research presents four, these four books as four yugas, which ended at 500 CE. To date, no one has started Ram's second journey of 14,000 years. Conclusion, God's kingdom, cannibal kingdom. There are two kingdoms in Bible and all Hindu scriptures. One, God's kingdom, this is it here. It's comprised of people who obey law of Jesus and does not eat humans. Two, cannibal kingdom. It's comprised of sinners, Catholics, Christians, those who reject law of Jesus and does eat humans. When I look around, I see many people entering into, into Hindu homes to teach about Jesus Christ. Hindu homes are God's kingdom. From this research, Ram is Jesus and is Hindu. So to follow teachings of Jesus is to be Hindu. Roman Catholics and Christians are anti-Ram, anti-Christ, anti-Jesus, anti-Hindu. Then what teachings do they, do they want to convert you to? I will present three verses to make my point. Acts 10, 14. But Peter said, By no means, Lord, for I have never eaten anything common and unclean. Ezekiel 4, 14. Then I said, Ah, Lord Jehovah, indeed my soul has never been defiled. For from my youth until now, I have not eaten anything that has died of itself or has been torn to pieces, nor has any abominable flesh entered into my mouth. Unclean and impure meat are human flesh. Daniel 1.8 But Daniel set his heart not to defile himself with the king's choice 
provision and with the wine that the king drank. So he requested of the leader of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Hindus were determined not to eat human flesh. They are following teachings of Jesus. Greatest sin in Bible is cannibalism. Therefore, to convert is to become a sinner and not to follow Jesus, but to follow culture of Catholics and Christians. It is to become a cannibal. When we look into history of Trinidad, it is recorded by Christians that Caribs were eating Arawaks, cannibalism. In South America, tools were made to slaughter natives. Roman Catholics and Christians were never vegetarians. Where did they find meat to survive long journeys? Bible records they entered India to eat and loot Hindus. I will reject all bias history from Christians when it is a known fact that they, explorers, discovered new lands with people as a food source. They accused Caribs of eating Arawaks when they were eating people. God's, covenant, God's government. Romans 13.1 Every person should obey the government in power. No government would exist if it hadn't been established by God. The governments which exist have been put in place by God. Verse talks about a government constructed by God. This is God's kingdom and is comprised of 18 men. All members are Hindus. Sinners and cannibals cannot enter into God's kingdom. Church strategy. Hunt Hindus. Cut their links to God's kingdom. Hoard all Hindus into sinner's kingdom, cannibal kingdom. All members of cannibal kingdom are Catholics and Christians. Matthew 21, 31. Which of the two did the will of which of the two did the will of the Father? They said, the first, Jesus said to them, Truly I say to you that the tax collectors that the tax collectors and the halas are going into the kingdom of God before you. Catholics and Christians have entered into Hindu homes and lands of Hindus. Sinners have taken Hindus out of God's kingdom and into cannibal kingdom. Old Testament, New Testament. John 1, 17, For the law was given through Moses. Grace and reality came through Jesus Christ. Catholics and Christians brought cannibal law. That's them. Vespasian brought the cannibal law. Grace and truth came through Jesus Christ. Ram, the Hindus. Romans 5.21 In order that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace might reign through righteousness into, into, unto eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Sin is, cannibal, sin is cannibalism. Grace is Hinduism. Romans 6.14 For sin will not lord it over you, for you are not under the law but under grace. With Hinduism, cannibalism is out. 2 Corinthians 5.17 So then if anyone is in Christ, he is a, he is a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, they have become new. Hinduism is New Testament. Cannibalism is Old Testament. John 3, 3, Jesus answered and said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born anew, he cannot see the kingdom of God. You have to follow Ram's journey to see God's kingdom. John 3, 5, Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. You have to be qualified in three subjects with title Christ to enter God's kingdom. Water, 13,000 years journey of first Jesus. Spirit, record of first Jesus journey, 14,000 years. 1 John 3, 9. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. Born of God's law is born again and does not sin, does not eat people. Born again is to be Hindu. Cannibalism and incest in Bible are making reference to Catholics and Christians. This research is bound to cause a stir among believers. Come forward. Refute research. Thank you.